So what's the secret to consistent daily sales? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi my name is Nicole and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark. Today I'm going to talk about 5 things I do every single day to ensure that I get consistent daily sales coming in. Especially this time of year with the summer slowdown that's happening that everyone always talks about. These are things that you have to do every single day in order for the sales to keep coming in and for them to be consistent. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe for more, but let's get right into the video. The first thing I do every single day is list new items. This may sound very cliche and very overheard, but it's very important to do because it's going to keep new people coming to your closet and it's going to keep your feed in the new um, like listings feed. So it's going to ensure that they, the sales are going to keep coming in because there's new fresh items being added to your closet. So whether you have time to add one or five or 50 new items a day, it's important to just keep doing this and it's important to be kind of consistent with how many you're doing. So if you do like one every single day or you do five every single day, do whatever you're capable of doing. But the good thing with this is you can make drafts in Poshmark and then you can kind of do them ahead of time. So I do my drafts for the week and it really makes me save time each day because I don't have time to list every single day. I don't have time to take measurements and make listings. So what I do is I do my drafts over the weekend and then I just hit lists every day for as many listings as I have available. And it makes it so easy during the day to do that. So I highly recommend drafting ahead of time, but you need to make sure you're listing new items every single day because this really, really makes a big difference. And if you forget it and you get off track, it makes it really hard to get back on track. The next thing I do pretty much every single day is make offers. So whether that be someone's liking the item and I'm sending them an offer immediately, or whether that means I'm bundling likes that people had, or I'm sending an offer out on an old item, Sometimes I just try to, you know, get rid of some of the items that I've had for a very long time, especially if they've been sitting. So I'll just go out and send a bunch of offers uh, or depending on, you know, what the type of day is, I'll let people know like I'm running a special or something. But I'm always trying to send out offers because I find that most of my sales actually come from me sending out offers to people. So if this is what is going to drive the most sales, I got to make sure I'm sending out offers every single day and make sure that those offers are reasonable and good and worthy of someone buying. The next item that I do every single day where I at least when I have offers coming in is I take offers. I know a lot of people are, you know, against taking lowball offers or they're against taking an offer because it's not exactly what they're looking for. But honestly, it really helps the algorithm to work in your favor if you consistently take offers or at least counter the offer that they were given. So even if it is a very low offer, you can counter back and it will be better and then maybe they'll accept it. But if you just hit decline right away, like a lot of people are so willing to do, you're going to cut off that chance of making that sale. But if you counter, at least maybe they'll be willing to come to you a little bit or you can kind of go back and forth and find a happy middle ground. But it's very important to do this because the algorithm does not like when you decline offers and it's kind of like it's cutting off that communication. So you basically are automatically losing the sale opportunity. So make sure that you are taking offers, even if it's not exactly what you were looking for, it may be worth it to help, you know, generate some sales. And honestly, sometimes I've found that like, if I counter someone and then they counter and then we end up going like a dollar different every time, it's like such a waste. So. I try to make a, a reasonable counter, but something that's not just going to be like a dollar up, a dollar down, a dollar up. Like, so I'm trying to make it, you know, fair on both sides. And so I think countering and just taking offers is very, very beneficial. Relisting old inventory is very important to do every single day as well, because your items get stale over time. So I use my Posture VA, uh, my virtual assistant tool, to do my delisting and my relisting. I do this every day, assuming that I have items that are available to delist after that 60 day mark. And so I tell it to do five items a day if there are five that are applicable. And so it just kind of delists the old listing and then relists it into an, a brand new listing that goes into the new listings feed. So it's kind of like bonus listings every single day. This really, really helps because a lot of the times if an item is stale and it's been sitting longer than 60 days, it's not going to sell. So this will help it get fresh eyes on it. And sometimes even when I do this, I will actually end up taking a new cover photo and post posting that with the listing. And that also really helps generate the sale. So relist those old items. And if you can't keep track of how many days it's been, don't worry, I, you know, I don't do that either. I just use the VA to do it. And, and you can program it to say, I wanted to do this after 60 days or however many days. But if you wait, if you do it before that 60 day period, it's not gonna show up as a new listing in the new feed. 
So you gotta make sure it's after that 60 day period. And the final thing I do every single day is share my closet multiple times a day. This is very, very important and a lot of people forget to do this, but it really helps generate those consistent sales because you're constantly getting your items in front of the new feeds. I may sound like a broken record in a lot of my videos now because I'm always saying, share your items, list new items, all these things, but they're so important. And until you really start doing them, you're not gonna notice how important they are. And so it's very important to be sharing your closet or have others be sharing your closet. So if you share your closet, then others will probably share it back. Or if you share others, they'll probably share yours. This really, really, really helps and it gets your items in front of new people. And also it just shows that you're active, which is also very important to do because you wanna make it look like you're always on the app so that you can you know, answer questions if someone has it or if they have an offer that they wanna send you, they wanna make sure that you're gonna be attentive to that. So it really helps overall, but it's just so important to do. And the more you share, the more I find that it actually helps generate sales. So these are my five tips that I do every single day that really make a big difference and generate the most sales on the most consistent sales. I find when I get off of my rhythm and miss one of these things or don't do these things for a day, it makes it really hard for me to get back in the rhythm of things. And I actually have a really good example of this this past week. I did not list for a day, I barely shared for the day, and I didn't do any relisting or anything like that. And I noticed that it really, really affected me because I didn't make a sale from Sunday to Saturday, or I think it was actually Monday to Saturday. But regardless, it was a very long time without a sale, and I was about ready to blame the summer slowdown, but then I realized, you know what, I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do every single day, and this is why my sales weren't consistent. So I started doing everything I needed to do and I was trying to get back and I was doing that every single day after that one day that I missed, but it's really, really hard to get back in the rhythm of things. And it's really hard to get back on the right side of the algorithm. So it only took me until today to finally make a couple sales after struggling all week. So I just recommend doing this every day and that way you're not gonna get off your rhythm. That way the algorithm is gonna continue to work in your favor and you're not gonna have like a week at a time where you make absolutely no sales. If you wanna see the do's and don'ts, the tips that I have for reselling on Poshmark, click right here. And if you want to see the Poshmark algorithm, click right here. But until next time, I'll see you then.